Hello, welcome to News Update. Nicolas Alvadien, who is believed to have faked his death and fled the US to evade prosecution on rape charges, has been apprehended in Scotland after being hospitalized with COVID-19, authorities have said. Tsunami waves caused by a giant underwater volcanic eruption have hit the Pacific country of Tonga. The initial eight-minute eruption was so violent it could be heard as loud thunderstorms in Fiji, more than 800 kilometers away, according to the officials in the capital, Suva. Jose Antonio Yepes, Mexico's most wanted cartel leader and notorious fuel thief, blamed for finding a sharp surge in violence in central state of Guanajuato, has been sentenced to 60 years in prison, state prosecutor said on Friday. Afenifere Ohanize Indigo and the Middle Belt Forum have urged all parties to zone their presidential tickets to the South ahead of the 2023 presidential election, adding that the South and the Middle Belt would not vote for a Northern presidential candidate in 2023 because the North would have fully enjoyed the office of the presidency of the country for the full statutory period of eight years. The indigenous people of Biafra has announced a sit-at-home order in the entire Biafra land in anticipation of the trial of its embattled leader in Amdekano next week, January 18. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry put a total loss in court from the seven-month shutdown of Twitter operation in Nigeria at a whooping 10.72 trillion naira. The United States envoy to the Horn of Africa, David Statterfield, and Assistant Secretary Molly Fee will visit Sudan and Ethiopia next week amid continuing crisis in the two African nations. The meeting aims to marshal international support for the United Nations mission to facilitate the renewed civilian-led transition to democracy in Sudan. Burkina Faso on Friday reported an outbreak of the highly pathogenic H5N1 bird flu that had been detected across 42 hotspots. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.